Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we're talking about how the Chicago Bears win the 2024 NFL Draft. And let's place no time and get straight into this thing. And just so you all know, this entire draft will be who I would pick. I'm not trying to predict what they're going to do, more of how I would build this team around this franchise. And we're starting it off strong with the quarterback at one overall. And without a doubt, we are taking Drake Met. I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just, don't kill me, Bears fans. I'm just kidding. Let's start this draft. We got the first overall pick. We're going Caleb. We don't even have to think about it. I'm not even going to talk about it. On to the next pick. Now, as this board falls, this is very accurate. I don't agree with the fourth pick, but these three is exactly how I think it's going to go on draft day. We're letting the board fall and come to us. The Bears, just so I can make it clear, they're not going to trade up. I don't see that happening. I think they stick and pick at nine, so let's go all the way there and find our scenario that works best for us. The Bears are on the clock at nine overall, and this is how it's fallen. Caleb, Drake, Marvin, Alt, Neighbors, Odunze, Tylese, and Turner. Okay? So... We're going defense because none of these top wideouts are left. Very sad we wanted one of them, but that is okay. We need to fill out this D-line. We'll take interior. We'll take edge. We will take it all. And the prime candidates, in my opinion, is Newton, Latu, Verse, and I think it ends right there. Those are your big three right there. I think on draft day, when it comes down to it, the Bears are going to go Verse. The dude he can do it all. He's a shit wrecker from Florida State. Big fan of his game. His only real knock is he doesn't have the longest arms, and I'm not too concerned about that. Versus a hell of a player, and I want him on the Bears roster. And as a Lions fan, I am petrified. Caleb Diverse, oh dear lord, I see you guys have picked 75 all the way down the board. All right, gang, we are back on the clock at 75, and the Bears do not have that many picks in this year's draft. I must say, they got 75, 122 in their first two picks, but that's really it. So you got to make them count. We got to address these needs as best we can. We've got a quarterback. We've got a D lineman. We could take more, of course. So it's D lineman, or do we take a wide out right here? So let's look at what's left on the board and what we could fill with pick 122. What, what do we have left, and what can we work with? Wide receiver-wise, I see a strong drop-off. I'm a big Baker guy. I think he's a fantastic player there out of UCF. The dude can really do it all. He separates. He goes up for contested catches. He's a great wideout. And then on the D-line, you got Brandon Dorthus. You got Booker. Um, those are like the best players overall at the moment. If I'm the GM today of this team, we already got a little bit of D-line help. Let's get some wide receiver help in there, and let's get Javon Baker onto this team, and he's going to absolutely kill it for this squad. I love that pick for the Bears, and I'm petrified of this rookie class for them as well. The Bears are on the clock at pick 122, and this is it. This is our last pick as far as I know, unless I got something else that I didn't account for, but this is it. This is our last pick of the entire draft, so let's make it count. We've got our wideout. We got our quarterback. Did we get a quarterback? We got our quarterback in Caleb. Now we've also got Verse. Let's address the D-line once more. I just Let's check out the value first. Let's go wide out just so y'all see. I'm not loving the wide out value. Let's look at, um, let's take a, let's take a look at quarterback. No, I'm just kidding. We're not taking a quarterback. We're good. We got Caleb. Let's take a look at a D-line. Let's look at edge and interior. Oh, man. Solomon's on the board. Kamara's also on the board. I love Javon Solomon. This dude is a freak athlete who can rush the passer like nobody. Yeah, he's gained 30 pounds since high school. The dude can flat out fly. He's a speed rusher off the edge. Huge fan of Javon Solomon, and this Bears team is looking nasty. Verse Solomon on the D-line, Baker out wide, and Caleb at quarterback. Let's go to the very end of this draft and recap what we did. Bears fans, this is my mock draft. I want you to look at all these and tell me what you thought. Caleb at one. I, it's pretty obvious. I don't have to think about that one. Jared Verse at 9 overall. None of the wide receivers were there. I think Jared Verse is a very, very good prospect. They gave me a C plus. I don't really care. I think that's a very good pick. Javon Baker at 75. I love Javon Baker, and you guys will too if he ends up on your roster. Javon Solomon at 122 I think is a steal. A great edge rusher to pair with Verse. And this addressed everything we needed very quickly. I think we did a great job today. But let me know in the comments what you would change. Because you guys have seen so many mock drafts. You guys are the true fans, the Bears fans out there. Drop it in the comments. What would you change? You can't offend me. It's all good. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. And also the algorithm as well. If you haven't subscribed already, go subscribe down below. Because we're bringing you a mock draft for every single team in the NFL. I know I got a lot to get done before drafting, but we're going to get it all done, I promise. And if you already subscribed and you've already liked the video and you're just a super fan, we got a Patreon in the description I'll put out here to the right, right. 
These are two tiers on Patreon currently, and our first two fans ever on Patreon. We got David and we got Cisco. Thank you guys. Appreciate y'all joining the family. Those two guys in the All Star tier are gonna get an extra video per week on the channel. And then shout out to Mom in the MVP tier. You're a real one. She's gonna have full access to my rookie draft guide for 2024, guys. If you're a dynasty sicko like me, I scouted every single prospect by themselves, film grade off the rip, then did the combine and weighed it all together in one mathematical formula. And thus, I have made this draft guide. I am very proud of this work. There's a cheat sheet, five draft day tips, and a bonus tip as well that will all be located in the MVP tier. You guys, if you've watched this far in the video, I appreciate you more than you know. Seriously, y'all are the best. Have the best day ever. Love y'all. Peace. Now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU. And Malik Neighbors out of Bellas.